Hello and welcome to Best Trends TV show. My name is Enyo Nam. Follow this program on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, on YouTube, Best Trends Show. Send us your thoughts and questions on each episode. You watch this on every weekend. Many thanks to my sponsors, Vanguard Assurance, uh, NPRA, Leap Tomato Pace, Novelty Innovations, Data Bank, and of course, uh, Horizons Officers for permitting us to record uh, each and every episode from their premises. If you're an entrepreneur and you're looking for an office space uh, to have a mini conference, a forum, or a place to meet people, there's furniture already available, there is internet and many more. Just walk to one Apple Square and ask for Horizon Officers. The manager will be right there to receive you and give you a very good package. Thank you to uh, Kwame Showbiz Boutique for giving me this beautiful clothes and then Diamond Cosmetics for making me look beautiful. Today, we are focusing our discussion on the service office concept. In recent times, the president even mentioned it whilst he was um, delivering the 2020 State of Nations agenda. One of the things he's looking forward to providing to young entrepreneurs has to do with a place where they can go and operate um, uh, from at a very affordable cost. But before that happens, we have other people who are doing such, I mean, virtual office. You've heard of it and you don't know much about it how it works today we are trying to enlighten our startups that hey uh it's here in ghana and this is how you can go about it my guest uh who has a broad understanding on this concept is mr chiofilos corte he's a country manager horizons offices ghana he's a life coach and a marriage counselor i'm going for a quick break when i come back mr corte will tell us all about what we need to know about the service office concept right here in Ghana. I'll be right back after this break. Oh, 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 oh. And you know, my claim is not covered by the insurance policy I arranged. Parkwesi, I've always advised you to let J in J Insurance Brokers, the insurance professional, handle your insurance to avoid gaps. At J in J, we analyze your insurance needs, we arrange cover with the best insurer with a track record of prompt claims payment, and above all, we facilitate and negotiate your claims. Call Dr. Gideon Amenedo, the CEO, on 0244-333335 or 0504-333335. You can also email him, Gideon, at jnginsurancebrokers.com or visit our website, jnginsurancebrokers.com. Thank you very much, Ayanam. I'm calling doctor right away. At J and G Insurance Brokers, negotiating a great insurance deal is our business. Wait, mm. tomato paste when I would eat you. I don't want to leave tomato paste in Ghana. Is what I call a Diane. <laughs> Secret Nani L E A P Leap. Same one when him said leap tomato paste the Diane there. It was superb and palatable taste. Na a small beer so. There were large and small sizes for chop bars, restaurants, and a few fee. For bulk purchase, contact 033-209-5314 or 050-14-1085. Welcome back from that quick break. So, based on this 
is the Forward Thinker series. Mr. Colte, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> and I'm glad to be on your show. You see, how have you been? Very, very well. And how is work? Very good. Great. So far, so good this year. Right. Yes. <laughs> we thank God. So far, so good. Eh? Yes, so far, so good. That's what we are all looking forward exactly. to. Exactly. Entrepreneurship is the backbone of both develop and developing economy. However, when we are touching off some of the key challenges of young entrepreneurs, especially, it has to do with service office concept, virtual offices, mm -hmm. where to start from mm -hmm. so that even a client can mm -hmm. try to do business with you. Mm -hmm. What is your understanding of this concept? I think this concept is one very good concept mm -hmm. to help entrepreneurs learn softly mm -hmm. and not waste money on their fixed costs. Right. One of the key challenges to every entrepreneur mm -hmm is the first cost for them to settle and start a business. It is always advised that you don't borrow money mm -hmm. and put it into a first cost. It's right. a very wrong investment mm. for every entrepreneur, especially when you are starting right. business. So um, you find a place where people borrow money and then they go and build an office or they borrow money, go and, build, uh, go and buy a car. Very wrong start, okay. very, very wrong start. So the service concept, the service officers concept, is saying that instead of putting money into a building, okay. what you have to do is go for a very, very cheap office option where you can now settle and then start the business and invest it into your working capital. Investing the business into your working capital is investing it into your services, your products, your credits, and things that will bring returns to your business. So the service office concept is basically taking an office piece and then refurbishing it, equipping it with furniture, and then giving it services like internet, security, and all everything that an entrepreneur will need to run an office. Mm -hmm. We get it settled for you. So it's a ready-made office. You just come in with your laptop, you settle, there's a secretary for you, there's internet for you, there are fixtures and fittings, everything sets, and then you start your business. Right. There are two aspects to it. Okay. One aspect is the virtual office, which right. you mentioned. Mm -hmm. For the virtual office, you don't even need to come and sit in your office. Okay. You just buy the business address and then we will run it for you. So you can be in town and be running your business or you can even be at home and be running your business. What the office will do for you is that they will run your correspondence for you. Okay. So if your mails come, we can receive it for you and alert you that you have a mail. Respond to it. If your hard copy deliveries come, we'll receive it for you. And then we call that you have um, 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 hard copy documents or whatever delivered to you. Come and pick it up. So that's how it works. Everybody knows that this is your office. The address is there for you. You have secretaries here working for you. They are all working for the company, but at your service. And then you are in town doing whatever you want to do. Great. At the end of the month, you pay something very small for the office address. Okay. And that is it. So if you run the cost on the virtual office concept, it's so negligible to your business that it's like, why do I need to invest money into, into an office? Right. So that's the first concept. Okay. The principle is to cut cost mm. to the barest minimum mm. for startups and for entrepreneurs. Great. The other one is the mm. service office concept. Mm -hmm. the, that one, there is a dedicated office for you. The space is mapped up to match the exact team that you have. So if your staff is, say, let's say two, okay. we'll measure a space for you to fit in two, two, two employees, and that is it. If you want them to sit in one office, there is that option for you. If you want to be the boss, sit in one office, and then your employee will sit in another office, that option is there. However and wherever you want it, we can mix it up for you. Right. And then you have it. For that one, mm. once you choose the office, it's locked up for you. So you can have your documents in there, your confidential documents and everything in there. And, and it's safe. It's very safe. Okay. Because security is part of the services. Mm. So there are security cameras also around, picking every movement. And then there are uh, uh, waiters. Right. And then cleaners. Mm. But they only enter with your approval. So with the dedicated office, you have your office all right, but the space is mapped up just for the team that you have. Mm. And that one also helps you cut costs. Yeah. At the end of the day, I can assure you, if you compare that concept to the traditional office concept, mm. where you go and buy the space, 
you do your fittings, you buy your furniture, you do whatever. Carpenter here, here and there. <laughs> right. And a lot of work. A lot of work. Oh my goodness. And a lot of course. So we are giving you all the pressure. Yes, yes. Okay. Everything we just, we, we just have to drive in comfortably and exactly. then start working. Exactly. Right. You know, this is a brilliant concept. Yeah. Um, I mean, talking about it makes it so um, attractive for me. Yeah. But then one would ask, how long has this started in Ghana? What has been the response, uh, the feedback from client? Mm. How is it going for you as someone who is in this space? Um, I can talk for my company. Right, sure. Horizons offices mm -hmm. has been around for three years. Mm. Three years. When they started, it, it, it wasn't easy. It was quite difficult. Okay. Because you see, the thing about this, this uh, uh, business mm -hmm. is that once you take up the space, immediately you start paying rent. Okay. We do not put up the building. Mm. We rent the building okay. from a property owner. Right. And once you take it, even before you start your refurbishments and your fit outs and, 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 and all that, you start paying rent. Rent is our biggest cost of sale. Now, if you don't get people to come and fill in, then it means that you are running at a loss okay. because they will bring in the revenue mm. for you to balance your mm -hmm. cost. Yes. So when we started, mm. The concept wasn't so strong in Ghana. We are not the first mm -hmm. anyway, but okay. it's quite a new, right. a new uh, industry mm. within the real estate market. Mm -hmm. So four years ago, we came in and I can, I, for the first two years, it was quite difficult mm. because we weren't getting the occupancy that would enable us to as break even. As fast as you want it. Exactly. Mm. But that is what brought me to the company. Okay. I was brought in just to, we were shut down point. So I was brought in just to revamp the company and get it to winning ways, mm. yes. Okay. And by the grace of God, we uh -huh. are about 90% occupant, right. o uh, occupancy level now. Nice. So, so business is good. Right. That's why I said this year, so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Interesting conversation <laughs> we are having right here. The service office concept has been around for some time. It's really good for we young entrepreneurs. If you don't know about it, then today is your lucky day. I'm going for a quick break. When I come back, we'll continue on the conversation. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to Kwame Showbiz Boutique. We are located at Achimota Neoplan adjacent the Malcolm. For all kinds of events, weddings, award ceremonies, parties, engagements, just walk to our boutique. We have all kinds of clothes, very quality but affordable. We work from Monday to Saturday from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can also call us on the number displayed on your screen. Follow us on all social media platforms, Kwame Showbiz Boutique. Kwame Showbiz Boutique. West African best kept secret, including Welcome back from that quick break. It's to Best Trends TV show. This is the Forward Thinker series. My name is Enyunam. Today I'm having a conversation with Mr. Teofilos Korte. He's a country manager of Horizons Offices, Ghana. And we are discussing the service office concept. So you gave us a broad understanding of how this mm -hmm. system works like. Mm -hmm. Now, my younger colleagues out there, entrepreneurs who would want to have such a beautiful place like mm -hmm. this, to direct your client to, that mm -hmm. my office is here, come and let's have a meeting, mm -hmm. will now be thinking, hey, can I afford it? Let's talk about managing the cost or packages for SMEs like my client. Okay. Mm. When it comes to cost, mm -hmm. the good thing about this concept is that the payment terms are mm -hmm. so flexible. Mm. So, so flexible. Mm. We have tenants who pay on monthly basis. Okay. So every month, then they pay their rent, or oh, yes, to us. And then we have those who pay quarterly, mm -hmm. half yearly. Mm -hmm. The maximum we have is annual. So it is as and when. In fact, we have people come in and they use the office for just one month, and then they move on. They vacate. Yes. Right. And that is what they want before they even came in. They negotiated. Okay. Right. Probably are putting up your space, mm -hmm. a multinational, putting up their own space, but it's not ready. Meanwhile, they can't wait. They have to start operations before the office gets ready. This is a perfect stopgap measure for you. 
So you just come in one month, two months, three months, and then you move on. So that is what it does. Mm. So in terms of cost, then it becomes very flexible to meet the exact time period that you need to operate in the office. The other thing is that for meeting, which you mentioned, it is on hourly basis okay. or even 30 minutes if you want. So if you want to come and have a meeting here for just one hour, you'll be billed as such, just one hour. Okay. So you don't need to rent a place for the whole day and then you use it for just one or two or three hours mm. and then the rest of the hours are just bent. Mm. So the flexibility of the cost mm. is the payment terms. Mm. And also it is very negotiable. Right. What company A would pay is not what company B will pay. Okay. We are very, very sensitive to startups right. because we want to support them. Okay. In fact, this company is a Pan-African company. Oh, okay. It's a Kenyan company, started in Kenya. They have about five centers in Kenya. Then they went to Nigeria, have two centers in Nigeria. Then they came to Ghana. Ghana. Yes. Mm. So we are very, very focused on the African business and then on startups as well, right. indigenous companies. Okay. If you come, mm -hmm. we had that experience just last week. Mm. A, guys, or a, 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 a team of four guys, they came and they wanted a place to start. And they shared their business plan with me. You could see that it's a very, very brilliant business plan, very good prospects, but they don't have money. So we sat down and then we negotiated something. And that's and today they are with us. Okay. Oh yes. That's interesting. Oh yes. Right. So it's it's not a fixed straight jacket cost mm. that we just spread on everybody. Mm -hmm. Once we understand your business and we know where you are heading to and we understand your financials, we can agree something with you. It is said visibility creates opportunities. Yes. Um, you have been in the system for four years. Yes. Now, I can still tell you that, I can boldly tell you that when you go on the streets of Accra mm. and you mention Horizon's offices at one airport square, mm. you, first of all, the facial expression that yes. you're going to receive yes. and then the question, hey, can I afford it? Yes. But the thing is that, why are you not making noise about these great fantastic packages you have for SMEs who want places like this to do business uh, is there is our marketing strategy right we our approach now is mm -hmm. the personal selling approach okay we are not keen on creating a mass market mm. awareness mm. not for now okay and um, we are looking of we are looking for avenues to grow mm. when we settled on that and that's the plan for this year when we settle on that then we'll go mass market but for now at one airport square, we are very focused on the kind of clientele that we want. Okay. Very, very focused. Right. So it's not everybody we admit. I mean, we need to see some credibility with your business for us to admit you. Right. So we are quite juicy. Okay. Yes. So those target markets we have gotten. We have gotten. And that was my, that was my strategy when I came in one and a half mm. years ago. Mm. Yes. We have gotten. Okay. Now we are going to go to the next stage right. where we focus mm. on the mass market mm. and we'll go big on awareness. So in, in, in Horizon's office is not so much out there okay. in terms of aware, uh, right. advertisements, publicity, publicity right. etc. Okay, because your strategic marketing is different. Correct. Right. Now we are moving into okay. that stage mm. and then we'll capture everybody. Okay. okay. We no. are coming slowly. As, as a business person, mm. um, what would you make of the entrepreneurship ecosystem mm. that we have here mm. in Ghana, especially mm. with um, places of this kind to mm. do business with? Um, cost wise mm. um, how to approach you and have a conversation like mm. those SMEs that it what you make of all this and what would you suggest that moving forward we should do to help you know grow our confidence level be able to walk to places and ask questions and every other thing that will make entrepreneurship better and um, what I would advise entrepreneurs to do mm -hmm. most of the time we desire to be entrepreneurs a lot of us desire to be entrepreneurs but we are not sure what business we want to do mm -hmm how the mid-term plan is going to be like, mm. how the long-term plan is going to be like, mm. and things like that. Right. We just get an idea and, and you want to build skyscrapers with it. I think first and foremost, draw a business plan, not the elaborate one, but define what you really want to do, okay. short-term, medium-term, and long-term. And when you do that, know your target market, very key. Mm. Um, the, the, the world out there is not your, your market. Mm -hmm. You have a market within the world out there. There are some who target the low class and that will inform every strategy that you put behind okay. your product or your right. service. There are some who target the middle level mm -hmm. and that will inform the kind of strategy you put behind. There are some who target the up market. Mm -hmm. So when you find a vehicle mm -hmm. and the price is mm -hmm. like a $1 million, they are telling you that it's not for everybody. Okay. And when you find a small car mm -hmm. and the price is so low, mm -hmm. 
is telling you that probably is for this market. Right. So when you, you need know, to find a niche market yes, and work with. Exactly. Great. So when you find your market, uh -huh. then you need to develop the confidence to approach them. Okay. Every but government is proud and happy to have enterprises or business or um, investors like your kind. Yes. From Kenya to Nigeria to Ghana. Yes. Have you received any uh, invitation to have conversations like how do we come in to help? What kind of you know support do you need from us and all that? Have you had any of those visitation mm. or conversation with government yet or mm. stakeholders if I should say? No, on a governmental level mm. we are yet to get there. Okay. Yes. But um, we are working quite closely with the GIPC okay. now. Right. Because a lot of people, you know, we had a year of return mm -hmm. not long ago. Yes. So businesses are trying to come in. Okay. A lot of people are also finding investors and partnering with them. Right. And that kind of thing. There's okay. a lot of information mm -hmm. at GIPC, mm -hmm. which we are now part of. So we are coordinating with them. Also, the Commonwealth came to us recently. Right. They are trying to get us into their network okay so for them there has been a formal approach mm. and we are trying to work together mm. so that has started because a lot of as i mentioned earlier a lot of investors coming in mm. this is the kind of office that they need for a soft landing exactly no two ways about right. it yes mm. so we are we are we are networking these government agencies okay and, and we are getting there. Okay. Yes. Great, great, great. So, <laughs> indeed, he said 2020 is going well. Now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. This is Best Friends TV show. My name <laughs> is Edwin. I'm having a conversation with Mr. Teofilos Korte. He's a country manager of Horizons Offices Ghana. And he's telling us all about the fantastic work they are doing to, you know, contribute to the expansion and development of entrepreneurship right here in Ghana. Uh, so, if you haven't, um, you know, visited them yet, you might want to come around and visit them they have great fantastic you know packages that's one which will fit your pockets you don't have to be afraid of the building just walk in when i come back we'll wrap up on the conversation here's a marriage counselor a life coach and an entrepreneur so we'll be right back to delve into other part of you know his life well, what do we need to know i'll be right back for a touch of that don't go anywhere i'll be right back In my view, the COVID-19 pandemic is a relatively short-term pandemic. Just like in China and in South Korea, life is beginning to return to normal after three months. Just yesterday, the travel ban on Wuhan was lifted, which is a strong indication that things are likely to return to normal in a maximum of 90 days. So, in my view, this is not the time to stop investing. I can understand that in times like this, you may need to stop investing or reduce the amount of money you invest because you have other bills to pay. I can also understand that you are likely to dip into your investments to meet current expenditure. However, for three months, you still have bills to pay you still have school fees to pay, you still have projects to continue. So I will strongly advise that no matter how small you have left to invest, it's important that you do not stop, or if you haven't started, actually, this is the time to start investing. Thank you. Welcome back from that quick break. It's to Best Trends TV show. This is the Forward Thinker series. My name is Enyona. Mr. Korte, quickly, um, it's very hard for people to have a balanced life between mm. business and family. How is that for you? Very good question. <laughs> you know, I, I am a very strong Christian mm. and uh, a very committed family man as well. And I'm also very resource oriented a very dedicated businessman. Okay. And I realized that if you commit to one and you lose sight of the other, it will be imbalanced. Right. 
And when you do that, you will not find fulfillment in life. Okay. I'm saying this because if you are having problems at home with your wife, mm -hmm. it will by all means affect your productivity mm. in the office. And if you are also having problems in the office, it will directly affect your, your relationship with okay. your wife. So it's very important that you balance the mm. two. In fact, before the beginning of every year or probably every month, you need to list, and that is something I do. Okay. The things I will do to spice up my marriage. Ooh. Yes. So spice I know. Spice up marriage. <laughs> Don't spice up the business. Everything will bring money. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you, you have to plan for okay. it. Okay. Yes. Some of these things they shouldn't be accidental. Right. You should plan for it. It's a must. Yes. Okay. I mean, from here I'm going for a, a, a marriage, a wedding program. Okay. I'm going to chair the program, mm. and I'm going with my family. Mm. We spent last night in a very good hotel. Okay. It was in the plan right. that this weekend we'll be in a hotel somewhere and just cool it off, have a good time with the family and that kind of thing. Mm. I planned it from the beginning of the okay. year. So when it comes, I enjoy it to the max. Mm. You see. And by the end of the weekend, mm -hmm. I'm sure my marriage life would have improved. Right. So you come to the office on Monday and you are you looking can see all that, refreshed yeah, and happy yeah, and you know, yes. energized e about. Exactly. So my advice is that mm. for you to have a work life and uh, yes a work a work family mm. balanced life mm. you should really plan for it okay. especially the family mm. for the work the, the mm. pressure will come naturally mm. unless you don't have a challenging boss okay but if you have a challenging boss like myself mm -hmm. the, the the work will come okay. and you have to deliver on right. on the deadline mm. and if you are not careful then you forget the family oh, okay. so plan for the family right. make time for the pa mm. family take them out let them feel good enjoy with them show them off i mean things like that right. and that alone will be satisfying Great. in fact Great. if you look at the divorce rate now mm. it's very high it's very high very very high and and, and a lot of things come together to make up this yes thing. right yes there, there, there are, um i've seen you a couple of times i've spoken to you a few times on phone i like your leadership style there are a lot of sme out there who um are so proprietorship mm. people mm. and you know relinquishing some of their powers mm. or delegating authority becomes a little bit of a challenge. Mm. I remember when Best Trends approached Horizons officers to start recording here. Mm. After talking and negotiating everything, you handed me over to someone to work with. What would, what would be your take on people who are not, you know, practicing this kind of system? And I'm happy you mentioned leadership. Mm. Because for me, leadership is key. Right. It is said that leadership is cause and everything else is effect. Right. I believe in that policy. Yeah. Because a leader, what I think you have to do is to set the course. Okay. When you came and you wanted to have this program here, mm. for me as a leader, I wanted to understand the what concept. is the concept. Right. What is it about? Mm. Um, is it good? Mm -hmm. Has it got a good relationship with our business? Right. Would it project our image? Mm. Can we also help mm. them as, mm. as, as a small mm. business or a middle, middle level business coming up? Once I, I, I satisfied myself mm -hmm. that this is something we wanted and we, and we can host, mm -hmm. I was okay. okay. The operational level, mm -hmm. I gave it to my assistant right. to handle it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's been any problem. No. It's because mm -hmm. I've built the confidence okay. in them. I believe in delegation. Mm -hmm. Once you set the broad goal mm -hmm. and you can motivate your staff okay. or your team, right. then you leave them mm -hmm. to also head towards mm -hmm. the goal. Mm -hmm. When you are leading, mm -hmm. the important thing is to show up situationally okay situationally then you show up to give guidance and but in terms of operational day-to-day -day guidance mm. I, I i hardly get involved mm. unless i don't see the results okay. then i'll come in to find out mm. because what are leaders for mm. leaders are for vision mm -hmm. and influence okay. motivation right. and driving the team to achieve okay. that's it right that's it you can't if do you, everything you can't do everything right. you shouldn't do everything okay. if you try to do everything mm -hmm. micromanaging mm -hmm. people mm -hmm and you you demotivate them okay and what they do is that they hold back right and they watch you okay if there's a problem they <laughs> all hide your head. and gossip <laughs> and point figures you at see you yes. i understand wrapping up our interview uh perhaps somebody would want to contact horizon services uh through email uh, phone number location wise how do we find you right mm. we are we are at one airport square okay airport city mm. very close to holiday inn hotel okay or marina mall mm. Once you see one airport square, you miss it okay. at, at airport city. Mm. We're on the eighth floor. Mm. We occupy the whole of the eighth floor. Okay. So once you get to the eighth floor, you bump straight into our reception okay. or any member of our team. Right. And that's, that's what we do. We'll be there to welcome you. Okay. 
and in terms of phone number, mm. you can reach us on zero. I can you can you can reach me on zero two four four nine nine three nine five zero. Okay. Nine nine three nine five zero. Right. And then if you have any concerns, mm. we can take care of it. Great. Yes. Great. Oh, we encourage okay. we encourage mm -hmm. everybody. Mm. Everybody, if it's about office space, mm -hmm. we encourage you to come. In fact, sometimes we are not even selfish. Um, it's a big industry. Okay. It's a big market. Right. There are a lot of properties around. Mm -hmm. We have all the database. Mm. Some of them, they don't meet um, the kind of clientele that come here. So if you come here and we realize that what fits you is something else, probably a bare space, what we call a gray box, and then you can do what you, we can recommend options for you. Okay. And I know a lot of property mm. managers. I can just give you their numbers just like that, right. and you call them and negotiate nice. with them. In fact, we are so linked because right. others also call me and they it's refer people. It's about networking. It's networking right. exactly. Okay. So it, it's not competition. Mm. Yes, we complement right. each, each other okay. in the industry. Right. So you, everybody is welcome. Mm. Don't don't think it's it's too high for you. Right. Just come over. Okay. <laughs> so this is it. Um, the service offers concept. Uh, maybe you've heard of it or you've read about it on the internet. But today, we took our time to explain it better. So if you're an entrepreneur out there looking for a very convenient place, relaxed place, serene environment to work from at very affordable rates, the best place I recommend is Horizons offices at One Airport Square. And Mr. Tofilos Korte, he happens to be the country's uh, manager right here. Thank you so much for making time with me this weekend on Best Trends. Um, thank you also to my sponsors and making this happen every weekend we are so much grateful until next week i'll come your way again with another powerful entrepreneur to enlighten you uh on what is trending in any other sector if it's not about office space then what next that's what i'm here for thank you so much for making time with me thank you thank you for visiting us we thank are you. grateful thank you for hosting me i've enjoyed right. myself okay <laughs> <laughs> it's a bye for now right.